This goal tells us a lot about Dawson Mercer. This is a one on three. He cuts across, he feels the back pressure and then turns away from it and drives the net. He could pass, but he recognizes the goaltender's leaving space up top. It's NHL preseason, but I don't care. Very few established NHLers make that play, let alone 19 year olds about to play their first professional season. To understand how Mercer pulled off that play, you must understand what type of player he was in the QMJHL. Spoiler alert, he was a human highlight reel. Sur le flanc gauche, une passe vers Mercer. Le tir, Bella, oh le but! De côté, le surnom, mais beau revenu défensif de Rosinski. Et c'est Mercer, le long relais, la déviation, oh, wow. le but! Though skills made Mercer not just a card carrying member, but the chairman of the never dump the puck club. In a 23 game sample since 2019, Mercer averaged 13 controlled entries per one dumping attempt. No wonder he won't dump it in an NHL preseason. Let's talk about technique for a minute. Mercer's puck handling is textbook. See his top hand? It's not just stuck on his hip, he moves it around. Many players don't do that. Their top hand gets locked to the side. Here's a, a rudimentary image to explain. And before you ask, yes, graphic design is my passion. In this scenario, the top hand's locked to the hip. The top hand becomes an anchoring point with the puck only able to move across the plane that the anchor allows. If the handler's posture changes, like when a defender leans on them and their chest moves closer to the ice, that limited range of motion causes them to lose the puck. It also prevents them from handling the puck tighter or further from their body. See how Mercer's top hand is pushed off his hip? He moves his hand as his posture changes to keep the puck under control. That hand also increases the effective range of his handling. He can reach out further or play with the puck closer to his feet, which allows him to use his reach to toe drag around the stick or reach further behind him, for example. Notice how he handles the puck too. He increases puck on stick time with smaller circular motion instead of wildly elevating his blade up and over. The tighter motion increases his control and ability to put weight over top of the puck. Lots of players have handling skills. It's the way Mercer sets up his moves that's so special. He beats them before putting the puck through them. He's a master of misdirection, looking in one way before going the other. He's rarely on his inside edges gliding to the next player. Instead, he's loading his weight over one leg before pushing off in a different direction. Just as the defender commits, he goes the other way. He's a true manipulator. What happens when you combine elite puck handling with exceptional stick work, defensive timing, and motor? This. Gardien joue dangereusement, mais contre bien la rondelle. Ça mène à un contre devant Belly Petit et Mercer en désavantage numérique. Le tir, le but! In pursuit, Mercer sees the puck carrier on his forehand. He whacks their stick and immediately slips around the other side. That's an insane read. Then he skates across their body to establish positioning and prevent a reach around and then immediately darts up the middle. He comes at the next defender at an angle, allowing him to cut across instead of having to go through them. He misses when trying to regain the puck, but then pulls his stick away from the defenders, preventing the tie-up. And then he shoots this far side too, elite sequence. This stick work isn't a one-off, it's a key part of Mercer's game. He has a real knack for stealing possession on the forecheck, and look at the body control to stay on that puck. His hand-eye coordination is unreal, adjusting as the puck's in the air, then whacking it into space for a teammate. Here, he deflects this pass very slightly, whiffs on the first whack, and then gets it on his second, all before the pass recipient can react. His footwork's really advanced too. When he's closing space, he angles his feet. So if he misses, he can turn back at the ice and stay in the play. When defending the rush like a defender, he angles his feet and maintains backwards momentum when challenging. He's very active in support or down low, using his stick to defuse plays that many defenders can't. And the way that he links defense to offense is incredible. After getting the steal, he uses his handling skill and patience to outweigh pressure and then attacks the extra four checker to draw them in and create space for a teammate. Notice the little deception and skill on this play. He turns pursuit into steals and he's never too patient. When coming back, he scans for threats. 
he feels pressure, and then he quickly reverses and hits a teammate on the inside. And he often looks for the cross-eyes pass after drawing pressure. This is a great read, faking the inside cut to create a bit of space on the perimeter, then he draws in the second four checker before changing the point of attack with a cross-eyes pass. His playmaking was already a strength, but linking his motor, stick work, and skill has taken it to another level, like here where he disrupts the forecheck and hits the gas pedal to poke away the puck at the point of least resistance. He gets on another loose puck and then deceives to draw the defender towards the boards before exploding to the inside. He turns interceptions into deceptive look-off passes under sticks. He's always shoulder checked a lot, but he's turning it into scoring chances more frequently. This pass is just incredible, and he does it off the backhand too. That feel and awareness for pressure has translated to his board work. He scans twice here, ensuring that he has space to turn and face the slot on the first touch. That position means he's dangerous. He can go up the boards, down the boards, step inside, or manipulate to create a better option. This time, he waits for the defender to close space, taps the puck behind the skates, and then makes an absurd pass through three defenders to his activating teammate. Improved body positioning makes his playmaking look NHL ready. Here he makes contact early and escapes the one on three battle. He establishes body positioning before touching the puck, here pivoting to get the pressure on his back at better position, which allows him to make even better use of his handling skill and creativity. Really, this is just scratching the surface of Mercer's game. In open ice, he's a highly creative playmaker who connects with unique plays, like this delay into a through pass for a chance. He's a skilled problem solver who creatively passes under heavy pressure. And he also plans his plays, like this one where he steps inside and fakes the shot to allow his teammate to move into scoring position. He maintains the deceptive act before touching the puck to set up chances, and he doesn't hesitate to make the extra pass to turn a good chance into a great one. He plays a give-and-go game, which combines with the deception to create high-quality chances. He anticipates the play in advance, which allows him to arrive at the net front with perfect timing for a goal. His one-timer will surely be a scoring tool in the NHL, especially because he can fire it in awkward positions. In sum, Mercer's a masterful stick handler who beats pressure but rarely overuses his defining skill. And attackers can't reverse Uno him, he's such a refined, intelligent defender with superior hand-eye coordination, timing, and awareness that makes up for a lack of pure explosive speed. His growth as a down-low and in-tight playmaker has him on the cusp of the NHL, and that's without mentioning his shot or scoring instincts. Mercer's on track to become a top six forward, one with 25 to 30 goal potential with an equal number of assists and plenty of defensive value. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see next. And for the full breakdown on Mercer's game, prospect pool rankings, player rankings, and more, head to eprinkside.com.